What's up guys, how is the game here and welcome to the O2 Arena in Fortnite Creative. As you can see on this board, if you look here, me and Wirt Andrew built it and it looks absolutely insane. This dome took many, many weeks to build. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about how to complete the actual arena. So, as you know, there is many rides in this arena. There is a Typhoon, Ball of Fame, uh, the Hover thing with the hoverboards. Uh, auto blue room backstage and uh, some others so what I'm going to do is go by go through one by one for you guys so you know how to complete them when you guys come to play it I've had many many questions of how to complete it and also where are all the buttons in the O2 blue room so we will get that to that in a second so let's start with super fan once you're in here you're going to see that there's loads of fans here and you're going to see one specific one just above my head there you can see there's an arrow. That is the one that you want to use to get to the exit and get the coin. So you want to try to land here and use it to reach the top of it. It may take me a couple of seconds to actually reach. A little bit of lag there because the amount of players in here. But you just want to try and use these three on this side to boost up. It may take a few minutes but you will get it there. You just want to keep using it as you can see there. I've finally made it. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer than that. But once you're up here, you collect the coin, head out, and continue on to the uh, next ride. So, let's head round to here. We've got the backstage and blue room. We're going to start with backstage, and then we'll head into the blue room after. So, to complete the backstage, it is more of a parkour kind of uh, ride. So, you want to head up here, head round, go to this door, go to this bouncer just on this. Head over, may seem like you're falling, it's so close actually, but you don't, you make it anyway. And then you get down to these bounces. Now, as you can pretty much see, some people are making it quite easy, and a lot of people, uh, well not a lot, but I've been getting a few questions on how to complete it. So the first one you don't even have to do, you can just completely jump and miss it. The second one, you want to wait until one of them has turned off, and then you want to jump on it and jump across. It didn't work then because obviously there's other people and it's really laggy. But <laughs> you just want to jump on it when it's turned off just like this one here. Now you can jump across. This one you want to jump on the green one when it turns off. And then jump on this. Then you want to jump on it again. The green one you don't want to do the blue one. But you want to wait until it's off. And just like that. Then jump over and there you go. Now the bridge is pretty easy. You just stand in the middle. Wait for one to go on and then go around just like that and then you can continue walking. It doesn't even matter if the switch over because you can walk in the middle. Here we've got a little bit more parkour. This one's not too difficult. You want to jump on the first two just like this and onto this barrier. Wait until it turns off and then back on again just like that and then you want to jump on the last three and then that is pretty much it for this backstage. Just got one more jump there, head around the corner, collect the coin and head out. There we go, we've completed the first two rides. Now let's go into the O2 blue room where you find the spray and the coins, uh, the buttons. So here we go, we've got one button there, you want to go up to it and press X. And you're going to spawn into the spray room. As you can see we did have this but people are spraying on it. And this one doesn't allow you to spray on it which is super helpful for people that need the code. Anyway, you're going to find that we're in this room and the next button is just here. Here we go. We're in the secret room. The next button is just here at the side of this table. And then now we're in this room. The next button is going to be behind this TV. And then we're in this room. And this button was actually originally on the roof. So you had to park our up. But we thought that was too difficult. So you just jump on this ledge. And it's just there. And then there you go. You're in the final room. Click the coin. Click the button. If you're an O2 priority customer. And then head out of the room. And there you go. That is all the button locations for the O2 blue room. Now let's head around to the ball of fame. There is also uh, secret collectibles you can find throughout the map. All these do is show up at the end on the main stage. Uh, how many of the players have collected in the map. Anyway, here we are at Mirror Mirror. This one's actually quite difficult, but you got to keep looking at the floor. And what you will find is that there's arrows 
here. So you want to go in the direction of the arrow arrows when you find them. It's quite difficult because it's dark, but you just want to keep trying to uh, find your way around. Uh, here we are. So let's head this way, I believe. Nope. This is actually really difficult to see when I haven't got my curtains closed. <laughs> but you just want to keep trying to go this way. And eventually you'll be able to go through a gap here, I believe. There we go. There we go. We found it. Then you'll find the next arrows. You want to continue going round. You'll find the first room. Then you want to go this way. Try and find the arrows. There you go. Just under that fog. And then you want to go this way, I believe. <laughs> I'm not 100% on the mirror maze because it is quite difficult, but as you can see, we are now in the next room. You can fly up the sky, click the secret collectible, and have a good view of the blue room. As you can see, there's a few people still up there on the uh, on the uh, hover ride, but once you've done here, you can head out this way, and then try to follow the arrows again to the exit. So you want to go this way, and then you want to go left, at some point try and get out so here we go another arrow there button there well not button coin and there we go we've completed it now let's head over to the ball of fame this one's pretty self-explanatory uh, i'm sure you guys find this one quite easy let's see if there's even a baller available maybe not because there might be a queue yeah, it seems like there's a queue. Uh, actually, no, there should be buttons. There we go, yeah. Yeah, the buttons are a bit glitched at the moment, guys. Um, they seem to be invisible on some platforms because of the new update. It's kind of broke the interaction buttons on pretty much every map. But, yeah, pretty much go up to it, press X, and then you can go around. And uh, it's pretty easy, but it's much better when you're playing with people. Because then you're hitting each other and you're racing each other. It's uh, really fun. But yeah, this is probably one of the best rides here. I really enjoyed making this and building it. It took quite a while to build as well. We had a few prototypes and uh, a lot of things to fix on it. But it's turned out really well. So you probably can hear me button mashing. But yeah, you just keep pressing A and boosting. Then you're going to head underneath. This little area is pretty cool. Uh, there is a screen that plays there, but it's a bit glitched at the moment on my uh, game. But it should be working in yours. Uh, so let's head round. Really quickly. And then we will get to the hyper jump. This last bit is really good as well. It boosts you really fast. It's so cool. Here we go. Down here. And then fly. There we go. This is so cool getting launched. And then you're going to find the coin at the end. And then you're going to teleport out. So now let's head to the final ride, the hyper jump. This one's also quite self-explanatory. Oh, actually, it's not final one. Uh, I am lying where there's crowd surfer, so let's show you how to do this real quick. So pretty much, it may not work for me actually, but yeah, there's somebody's already on it. So there's three hoverboards. You want to try and wait for one of them to spawn. Basically, you jump on it and then wait for this blue uh, kind of platform, that one. And then you want to stay hovering on it until you get out of the dome and then you just fly down it on the hoverboard. Make sure you don't hit any walls when you're on that platform. Try to not hit, get hit by the obstacles. And also don't boost because you may fall off the platform. It's a little bit weird, that one, but we thought it was cool. We didn't want to remove it just because... You could cut, fall off for it. Uh, anyway, hyper jump. Let's head up here. You're going to get gri uh, a grapple. And then you can just run around it. It's kind of like parkour. It's really fun, actually. I quite enjoy this. You just want to keep going around it. And then at the bottom, try to avoid the holes. There we go. Because you can get teleported in there. There's the two-way system here. Make sure you go left. If you go right, it's going to be a dead end. And it's just going to teleport you back. There's also a few holes here that you may have seen already. You don't go into them, just continue going up. And then here we go, we got the final section here. This one's quite fun to be honest. You have to keep grappling and grappling until you get to the top of where you just slide back down. And there we go, collect the coin and head out. Well, that has been every single ride in the O2 Arena. If this helped you in any way, make sure to hit that like button. 
subscribe for more because I'm going to be doing another video on this when it is released. I cannot wait to show you this, guys. It's going to be amazing. As you can see, people have completed quite a lot of rides, which is quite surprising. 187 between the people in this lobby. That is insane. Make sure to uh, comment down below if you've seen this higher. That would be cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.